Hi guys and welcome to another video. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do here is basically uh, set up uh, Visual Studio. I'm, Visual Studio. I'm just going to make some changes to this um, version. So I'm going to increase the font a little bit. Okay. I'm going to go to text editor, C sharp and line numbers. Okay. That's some quick changes. So that's and it's going to help us a lot. So today we're going to start talking about how to create text files using C sharp. So most specifically, we're going to create some variables. So we're going to work with text and we use strings to work with text. So let's create a string first. Let's call text and let's give it some text such as this is a sentence. Okay. So so we want to write this to a file um, console dot um, read key. Okay. So we want to write this to a file. So um, there is many ways to do this in C sharp, but we want to do in the best way possible, which is which is by using. Uh, let's import the system dot io. System dot io. So there is many methods, there is many ways to do this, but we're gonna start by the most basic um, way, which is by using an static function called file and the method called write all text. So this is a very basic method. We need to pass the path, which is file1.txt, and we need to pass the content, which is the string, so text. So this is all we need to do to create this file. So we have the string, okay, and we have this function. Notice that it is a static function, so we don't have an object of return. We just pass this. So if I run this, I should create a file in the same directory of this example. And I'm going to show you guys just uh, just a minute. So okay. This is the execution, and this is the path of that project. And you guys can see here, we got file1.txt, which is the file that we just created. And we can see this is just, this is a sentence. I'm going to just increase the font here a little bit so you guys can see more clearly. So that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoy. In the next video, I'm going to dive deep into this explanation. So thank you guys again for watching this video, guys, next time.